In this video, I'll show you how to go on and get SOCOM Confrontational PC controls working with mouse and keyboard on RPCS3 emulator. You may be wondering why you would ever want to play this game on mouse and keyboard. You may not. But the only reason I made this is for a convenient standpoint so you don't need to grab your controller or anything or if you want to play the game on a different standalone, just different feeling. Or you just like the feeling of mouse and keyboard better. So I'm going to show you how to go on and get it working. Then you know this is only for emulators. If you're on the PS3 you can have tough luck. Alright, let's get on with it. Alright, I have a GetLab link that I'm going to be linking in the description which has its own little step-by-step -step type of thing to show you how to get everything working. And a little bug on the page, I'll probably fix that before this goes out. Anyways, so we got just the versions that it would work on and it's only for the emulator. And there is a little bit of development issues that you may encounter because it is still an early development. Like you can like slow, like kind of medium mouse movement. It doesn't feel quite right yet. You can't walk super, super slow because you can't really fine tune it and a little jumpy mouse movement. And what I mean by jumpy mouse movement is when you move your mouse horizontal, it just moves like that. But with this game, it might jump up a little bit and go back down. So it's a little jumping. It's not too bad. You can you kind of live with it. And then there's the download right here. So what you want to do is you want to download and click that right here and it will download a pack it's all zipped and stuff so you just go on on you can use WinRAR you cannot use it and all you gotta do is just track the files and then you should have just a list of files with different game IDs these are all the SOCOM versions that I'm aware of. So these are the serials for those games. And just in case if that doesn't work, I also have just a picture of all the controls I have set up right now. And on the bottom of the guide, I have it all mapped out here for you. So you know what does what. So... R is to reload, X is to do an action, F is to go on, change your firing thing, or to hold it to change your weapon, space is to jump and everything. I'll let you guys go through that once you're there. So, oh jeez. And after you go on and you got to that point where you have the folder here, you want to go on and you want to open up your emulator so you go on find wherever your emulator is and you open it all right so you should see your emulator here in your SOCOM right there is your serial number for your game that will come helpful you need that to go on and transfer the right game ID to your game and just for the and to go on to start things off you want to go on hit on your configuration and go straight to emulator and you want to go on and make sure this is checked is to ignore double clicks because if you click twice basically what will happen it will unfull screen it kind of ruining the immersion you don't really want that especially if you're using a single fired rounds you're clicking it really fast it's not gonna be a fun time which is pretty normal so anyways what you want to go in and do you want to right click your game 
go down to open custom config folder. And once you're in here, you don't really want to mess with this stuff. This is just your config, like your actual game settings. It's like, like just like what resolution if you have custom game settings for each and every game. That's what that's for. So it's not in there. You don't want to be in that folder. You want to go back and hit on config. And you should see input configurations. If you don't, you can just make a folder called input configs. And you just open that up, you find what SOCOM configuration you want right here. So for the purpose of the video, I'm going to go on and just rename this. So basically, the emulator won't use it. I'm just going to put OG on the end. And when you usually have it like that, you'll notice there's no controller here. So... What you want to do is grab whatever one's matching your game, which is right here, and you want to just drag and drop. And then once you hit refresh, you should notice there's a little controller here. So if you go on, you right click it, go on and hit change custom gamepad configuration, you should notice there's a bunch of controls set up. So there is a way for you to go on and turn up your sensitivity but I don't really recommend it. It's by messing around with your mouse acceleration. Yes, you can make it faster, but there, like the mouse jumping that I've been talking about where when you move your mouse horizontally and it kind of sometimes will jump upwards is a lot more common and it's a lot harder to kind of put your crosshair on a player. So that's up to you if you want to change that. But anyways, let's continue with this. You go on, you want to play, launch your game and wait for it to load up. So I'm probably going to cut that to when we get to the main menu or at least load it in. Hold on to your SOCOM confrontational. You want to make sure you're already connected to all the servers, you're already up to date, which I'm kind of assuming you are. Alright, and everything is up to date, you can connect to online and all that. And if not, I might go on. I bet I can find a video and link it down in the description. If I can't, it shouldn't be too hard to figure it out. But once you get to this screen, if you already have the custom configuration set up, what you want to do is hit enter on your keyboard. And once that happens, it'll go on and try connecting to the input, logging into the servers. You want to hit A is to move left and D is to go right. And with this, you just hit X and X on your keyboard. All right. And once you're in to this screen right here, you can Use A, W to move up and down. You want to go to options. Hit X, go down to wireless control general options. You want your look speed and acceleration to be on the max. And trust me for that, you want that to be on max. And to go back, it's F on your keyboard. So you can go down, you want to go on control schemes, hit X. You want to make sure it's on default because on the default control screens are probably well, it's just what I used when I set this all up. So you can hit C or not C, uh, F. Go back and you should be set up to go on and play some SOCOM confrontational on mouse and keyboard. The controls do take some time to get used to, it's not a pickup thing in your ready it's one of those things it takes time to get used to it and yeah you can just hop onto a lobby and play on mouse and keyboard i will leave the download links and all that in the description of the video to go on and so you can just play with a mouse and keyboard and to make sure you guys can get used to it i left a little bit down here to show you how to go on and what's all the controls for everything 
like E and Q is to lean, so Q is to lean left and E is to re lean right. And the mouse back button, that one's one that you could change because not all mouses have it. It's the side buttons on your mouse. You have one that's further up and one that's further back. So with the mouse back button, you could go on, lo go over to your RPCS3 emulator. And you don't need this after you're set up. And you want to go to RPS C oh wrong one. Onto your your emulator. And all you want to do to change that is go on right click, change custom gamepad configuration, and it's right there. So whatever you want your knife button to be, you just hit it and set it to whatever you want. Let's say I want it to be T. Now T would be my mouse, my knife button, and all you hit is save and you're good. So that's basically all you really need to go on and get mouse and keyboard working on SOCOM Confrontational on the emulator.